Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. But today we're in Ensenada, Mexico, fishing with the Azteca 2. And we're just trolling, getting to the area we want to fish. And one of our anglers right here has got a fish hooked up right now. Let's see what he's got here. Oh, it looks like a barracuda. Oh, big barracuda. Nice barracuda. Here's a nice barracuda we just caught on the troll. Using with the bomber saltwater grade lure there, beautiful fish. And this is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be trolling like this. We're gonna be fishing for calicos later in the day. And then hopefully uh, stop at some spots and look for some rockfish and round the day out for the rockfish and calico bass. That's what we'll be doing, fishing for the Azteca 2. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of sport fishing. Congratulations. Thank you. Woo. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. This week's episode of Sport Fishing is brought to you by Turner's Outdoorsman for all your fishing and hunting needs, by B-52 Bucktails and Magic Metal Jigs, by Yamaha, reliability starts here, by Game Saver for preserving your fishing game, and by Dan Hernandez Baja Style Fish Battle. Got bit on the jig, fishing a magic metal light jig. Doesn't feel like a real big one like that last one we just got in the troll. Oh, it's a nice fish. There is good fish. Uh, I don't know about it. Nice barracuda. This is we caught that fish on. It's a magic metal light MM7. Big beautiful fish. All right, well, let's take a little break from the action and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the baits we're using today. This is a nice bird, too. This week, the tackle box is brought to you by the California Department of Boating and Waterways, reminding you to dump at the pump. This week in the tackle box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing down in Sonata today. Now, we're fishing with the Azteca 2 fishing inside the bay there in Ensenada, not going past the island. And in, in that bay, you can catch a big variety of fish, all kinds of different game fish, the barracudas, the bonitas, the calico basses, they all live in there. There's always yellowtail in the bay, and there's always great bottom fishing within the bay too. And in today's episode, we're doing a little bit of everything. And for the bottom fishing, my number one rig is to use a dropper loop rig, especially in the bay where you might catch a yellowtail while you're fishing the bottom. You never know what to expect. So I like to use a dropper loop rig, and it's really easy to tie. You just slide the hook on. And then what you want to do is just make a loop. And when you make the loop, you want to cross the lines over each other five times. Just like that. And then you take the hook, you slide it right through that opening. before you cinch it all the way down, I like to wet the line. 
and all the way down. Now, if you're not sure how to tie this rig, you can pick up one of the Dan Hernandez Eagle Claw hook kits. And in this hook kit, you'll get all the hooks that you need. Plus, there's a DVD in here that shows you how to tie different rigs, including the dropper loop rig. It's a very simple fishing, basic fishing. And you don't need a lot of fancy equipment. You go with a torque reel by pen, a 200 or a 300 size reel if you want to get a little bit heavier line on there. And then pick up one of my Dan Hernandez Ugly Stick Custom Rods by Shakespeare. These work out perfect. This is all the gear you need for this type of fishing. So let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. And uh, I switched over to double bucktail rig. Larry's been really successful with that. And it's a technique we use up in LA all the time to get the sculpin. And this area, there's a lot of sculpin. So I wanted to double bucktail and uh, see if I see if I got one here. Feels like I got fish here. And even though we're in Mexico, you can fish here in Mexico with four hooks. I'm just using two. Let's see what we got. There he is. Uh, it's not a sculpin, little rockfish. On the bucktail, little B-52 bucktail. The grub on there. Little rockfish. Let's see if we can get some sculpin down. How was that? Our skipper made a move, so now we're uh, fishing a reef, San Miguel Reef, looking for some rockfish. And Ed's got a fish going on here. Let's see what he's got. He had snagged on the bottom, but that can got it off for him. Looks like the fish is kind of floating up now. Here it comes. Starry eye. Yeah, hey, let's see. Little redfish. He lost his sinker, but he got his fish. Not bad. We're just drift fishing right now, rock fishing. Same technique, it doesn't matter where you are, Channel Islands up north or down here in Mexico. We're just drifting, want everybody, one side of the boat, one to your face. And um, I'm fishing circle hooks because we're over 100 feet of water. So you get two circle hooks on there and uh, eight ounces of lead, which you really don't need that much because it's only about 130 feet of water. We don't have a lot of current. I want to keep that bait right on the bottom, keep contact with the bottom. And the line I'm fishing with today, I got braided line on here, 60 pound braided line with a 25 pound leader monofilament in front of it. You don't want to fish straight braided line. A situation like this, it's nice to have that 
monofilaments. If you do hook a rock or something, it'll bust off. Let's see what we got right here. Here comes color. Oh, a little sculpin. There's the sculpin. Just have to be a little careful with these because they're poisonous. You see how that circle hook just worked perfectly? You got that fish. That's it. Nice quality fish. All right, we'll take a little break from the action now. We're going to go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish that we're catching today here in Ensenada. Baja California is still the best year-round catch south of the border. Visit discoverybajacalifornia.com and check out more ways you must do Baja. Mexico, beyond your expectations. This week in the galley, we're down in beautiful Rosarito, Mexico. We're at the Rosarito Beach Hotel, and standing next to me is Azalea. Thank you for inviting us down, Zara. Thank you for stopping by our, our re resort. Sir. It's a beautiful resort. I've been here many times in the past. Great fishing here, too, but today we're going to do a fish dish. And who's our chef that we have today? Our chef is Eriberto. He's the Eriberto. Schubert's restaurant chef for the gourmet food. Good. Okay, so I see he's got a rockfish for us today. And what is he going to do with this rockfish? Okay, we're going to have it uh, done with the cilantro sauce. It's rock hot with the cilantro. And if you're not sure what rock hot looks like, this is one here that is done a different style. This one was deep fried, but our chef has a different treat for us in store today. And what's really nice about this fish is this is a local fish you can catch right here in Baja, Mexico, even up in California, local That's rock correct. hot. A lot of our viewers catch these fish all the time. Okay, so we're adding a little bit of salt okay. and pepper. A little pepper. Yeah, to season the rock hot. And he's also going to put a few drops of lime to it. Yeah, I love using lime and lemon all the time. Yes, we also do. Okay, now he's going to go ahead and put it in a pan. ¿Cuánto tiempo se cocina esto, Chef? It just takes from two to three minutes to have it ready. One thing about rock cod, what's really nice about it is very white meat. You can do lots of stuff with it. But like the chef said, you don't want to cook it too long. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make with a fish like rock cod is they cook it way too long. You can see how fast this is cooking. Yes, it looks really nice. Yeah, it's going really it's fast. Mm -hmm. There you go. This is a very simple dish to do. What I like about recipes like this is something somebody can do at home. And this is what I was talking about, the rock cod. It's so versatile, you can use a bunch of different sauces now, I know the chef here has a sauce for us to put on top of this. And what yes, is that? that's correct. That's the cilantro sauce. Uh, like I told you, it has olive oil, cilantro, a little bit of salt, and pepper, and lime. And what he did was took all those ingredients and just threw it in a blender and mixed it yes, up? Yes, that's Food simple. Processor? That's simple. You just blend them, and that's it. It's ready. Cool. So it looks like we're all done with the cooking the fish? Uh, yes, it is ready. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And this is the chef's assistant? Yes, that's correct. Her name is Maritza and she's Maritza. helping today. Okay, cool. So he's actually going to fry up the cilantro sauce. What's neat about cilantro sauce is cilantro is just one of those natural ingredients from Mexican culture. And we use it all the time cooking. My mom used to cook it all the time with cilantro, oregano, stuff like that. And it's nice to add this to a dish here. But he okay. just heated it up a tiny bit. Yeah, just a little bit of heat into it. And it looks delicious. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Here's a finished dish. I have to try this. Yes. How is that it is done? so good. It it's is? really good. Thank you. Thank you for coming and thanks Thank to you, the chef. chef who made it possible. Very nice. Very simple dish. Just a little bit of time on, you know, cooking it with a little bit of heat. The cilantro sauce is great. And I've never seen a cilantro sauce where it was heated like that and then put on top of the fish. It came out really nice. Remember, we're down here at the Rosarita Beach Hotel down here in northern Baja, only about 40 minutes from the border from San Diego. Just a nice, great place to come on down. Come do some local fishing and come see the chef and order a dish at the kitchen here. It's a beautiful dish. Well, stay tuned and we'll be right back with a lot more action right here on Sport Fishing. Mexico, beyond your expectations. Welcome back, and uh, we're still drifting in the same spot here. You see more sculpin coming up. Here comes another sculpin on a bucktail with a grub on there. 
and uh, I have something going, fishing the same exact rig as that gentleman there. He's got two bucktails, and I have two bucktails, and then I have a, a plastic bait on there too. Mine's made by Bomber. Saltwater grade, let's see what, I think I got a sculpin too. That sculpin just really like that whole bucktail and plastic combination. See all the other little boats around us, some pongas around us, some other local charter boats. You guys are all catching rockfish. Hopefully on the way in, we'll run into some more of the Barracuda. Here's another sculpin. This guy chewed on it, chewed on it. Look at that, he just swallowed that B-52 bucktail. He got it deep. All right, see how everybody else is doing here. Having a lot of fun today fishing by the Azteca 2 in Ensenada, Mexico. Here comes my fish right now. Now you're in the rocks. Yeah, you gotta open up the reel and let out some line. Here comes my rockfish. Nice quality rockfish. Got this one on a live sardine. We got a whole bunch of fish going right now. We got about three of the kids hooked up. And some more of these guys. Today's a little bit different because we're down here in Mexico. We got some of our viewers that watch us in Mexico on board today, a bunch of them. And then we have some Americans with us too. A lot of fun. All right, there's a big scope. Oh, Larry got a big scope. Got that on a bucktail, B-52 bucktail. This week, the Boat Bio is brought to you by Penn, manufacturing America's best fishing rig. The Azteca 2 is a brand new sport fisher that operates daily out of Ensenada, Mexico. She was built here in Ensenada and features a large live bait tank so you have plenty of bait for fishing the local kelp beds or offshore for tuna or dorado. has a big bunk room so there's plenty of room for the anglers to sleep and a nice galley too to have your meals or to get out of the sun. The boat is equipped with the most modern electronics for fish finding, navigation and communication. For your next fishing trip out of Ensenada, make sure you book your trip aboard the Azteca 2. Let's see what you have. I think it's a sculpin. What do you think it is? There, there he is. There he is. There he comes. Okay. Okay, stop right there. Lift it up. There you go. It's a sculpin. And 
know, these are poisonous. You have to be a little careful with them. Nice fish. I'm going to tell everybody, stay tuned, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right. This week's tip of the week is brought to you by Magic Metal Jigs and Bucktail Jigs. For this week's tip of the week, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we caught the fish today. Now, it's always important that you carry some B-52 bucktails with you, and you should have a variety of sizes. When we're fishing that deep water rockfish, we're using six ounce B-52 bucktails, but all those scoping we caught today, a majority of them we caught using the half ounce B-52 bucktail with the plastic bait on there, the bomber saltwater grade, or you can use gulp bait too. Both of those work good. And I don't know what it is about these B-52 bucktails, but the scoping really like them. They really attack them all the time. And even if you lose your bait on there, the bucktail action on there attracts the scope and works really good. Well, that's this week's tip. I want to thank the crew aboard the Azteca too. Raymond, our skipper, we had a great time. Deckhand was great. It's a beautiful little boat. If you've never fished out of Ensenada, Mexico, really recommend a trip down here. It's a nice little operation that Azteca 2 operates. They go offshore for the tuna during the season. And like this time of year, we're just fishing inside the bay doing a three quarter day trip. We got all those rockfish, got some nice barracuda, and often there's barracuda and yellowtail running together too in this area. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.